Hey everybody, Angry Poncho here. Welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. We are back here in one net, just real quick. This is actually a cut back to the previous episode. If we had gone in here and talked to Mom, we would have got some dialogue. Oh, Ness, you finally showed up. There are plenty of creepy monsters running around one net right now. The townspeople are barricaded in their homes, afraid to go out. I'm fine, but I am a bit scared. Everything will be okay if we just sit here quietly in the dark. Are you hungry? Do you want to eat some? Oh, no, that's... I'm fine, Mom. No thanks. I'm only eight. Let's see. You can call people. <laughs> okay. What's the dog say? At this point, you guys must be must you guys just might be the strongest force in the world, don't you think? Yeah, these four kids armed with baseball bats and ribbons. But yeah, I just wanted to show that. So it's not to not, just to not uh miss that interesting dialogue we can get there. But here we are. This is where we're supposed to be. Back in Saturn Valley after finishing one at and bringing the meteorite piece back to did we give it to him already? Let's see. If only I had a piece of a meteorite, I might be able to extract it. Well, okay, well, we've got that. Yeah, not use. Uh, well, I guess a given we use what works. This is fantastic. What? I've never actually seen this incredibly rare element before. It's very intriguing. All right, leave a link to us, and you get some rest. This is most fascinating. Okay, cool. So, while they are doing everything, we're going to go over here. Uh, there's actually a few places that I want to visit, because there's some good items that we can... Whoops. Some good items to go pick up. So let's see. I believe we want to start by going to Summers. Because there's gonna be there's a variety of items that we want to get. We want to get some super plush bears. We want to get some multi bottle rockets, and we can get some piggy jelly. Let's see. Um, I don't remember where the shop is in Summers. I guess it's over here on the right. Okay. Bow, 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 bow. I guess this is one of those places where using Teleport Alpha to cross the town quickly isn't that bad of an idea. As long as you don't, you know, hit cars or... I don't know, you stay stunned for so long after that, maybe it's not really worth the the use. I don't know, if you go too far, you'll just warp away. That would stink. Alright, what you got for me, buddy? Let's see, does he have what we want? There we go, Super Plush Bears. Good stuff. I guess letting Paul carry those would make sense, right? Nice doing business with you. We're gonna want to buy a few of these, so... Paula. And you guys were, were right in the comments section of the last video. I left Paula unequipped with a couple of things, I think. So Diamond Band. We, we, we got the Goddess Band, so let's go ahead and let's handle this. This, this episode is going to be, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you, it's going to be mostly me preparing for our final assault on Gygus. But uh, not a whole lot of action, so I apologize. Yeah, she has nothing on her body or her arms. Okay, so we'll give her the Goddess Band. What did she have on her body before? Okay, one of these two. Alright, I guess night pendants. Actually, we're gonna buy some pendants from the Saturns, I believe. Uh, oh look, there's a bear behind us already. Okay, good. Let's pick up one more of those bears before we leave Summers. Yeah, diamond band, lucky coin. Yeah, none of these other things are any good to us anymore. So, again, Paula. Alright, good stuff. Oh, I guess we could get some bags of Dragonite, too. That might not be bad to have, but I don't know where you... Uh, can you is there anywhere you can actually buy those? I don't think there is. Alright, so we wanna go to Deep Darkness next. There we go. Yeah, Summer's best town for Al Teleport Alpha. Hey, if I can save the experience, I will. Alright, now who do we want to talk to? So there's the uh, weapons dealer down here. He's going to be able to sell us what we want. Shh, don't talk too loud. I got you, Bomb. Let's see, multi-bottle rockets. Uh-huh. Of course, Trevor's going to have that. Oh, wow, he's got a bunch of junk in his inventory. Let's, let's look at that, actually. Because we're going to want to have a, a very efficient inventory system. When we go into this final area here, like I might drop some stuff, like the town map or the ATM card, just give it to the, the Excarco Express. Okay, pizza? What? Just eat the pizza. I don't even hear Paul I get fat on pizza. I don't care. Yeah, I know it's a valuable item. Whatever. I got plenty of money at this point. All right, we got a crystal charm, diamond band. Okay, who doesn't? He's got a Pixies bracelet. What does Ness have? A cherub band. I guess they all have unique items. I don't know what the best way to get all of these things set up is. I, I honestly have no idea. Um, let's see. Horn of Life. Well, it's good to have that. Oh, well, well, Paula has a bag of Dragonite. Okay, good. Let's give that to Trev, actually. Because he's... Well, he doesn't have room for it. Okay, I guess we'll let, we'll let Ness have that, I suppose. Let's see. Super Bomb. Ha, ha, ha. No, 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 no. Drop it. We're gonna get a multi bottle rocket instead. Let's see, what else has he got in here? Rust promoter. 
Meh. Actually, the death ray. Can we just drop that? Oh, we, we can. Okay, good. Okay. Let's see. Platinum band? Who are we gonna... Meh. Just drop it. I don't care. <laughs> Doesn't even matter. Alright, what is Neo hearing around? Oh, wow. Well, he's got some broken items. He needs to give those to... to Trev. There we go. I don't know what the broken trumpet is. We'll have to try and see if we can fix that. Oh, the brainstone. Can I drop this? It's useless. Seriously. Where's the, where's that telephone bird? <laughs> Let's go call the uh, Escargo Express to get rid of the junk we don't need. I really want to see if I can get him to run in from the ocean. Ah, oh, bummer. <laughs> uh, all right. Now we're gonna give him some of these things we don't really need anymore. I think I'll be fine without the town map from now on. Let's see. It actually proved to be a fairly useful item, to be honest. Um. Uh, da -da 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 we're going to fix some of this stuff. Uh, let's see. We'll give him the rust promoter. I don't want that. Right, and Neo has the brainstone. I don't want to carry that around anymore, either. Yes, yeah, so we take this and that and the other thing. Okay, great. Wonderful. Just beautiful. Absolutely awesome. Okay, Neo's holding a talisman coin. He can't wear that. Why is he holding that? Let's give that to someone else and see who else can actually use it. And this is a shiny coin right now. Let's see if it's any different. That's actually worse. Okay. Well, does anyone else have something that isn't as good? Well, she has the ribbons. Souvenir coin. When, well, I can't compare the two unless I put it in his inventory. Ugh. Is his inventory full? Oh, okay, thank goodness. <laughs> no, it's been just my luck, right? Souvenir coin or talisman coin? Okay, a talisman coin apparently sucks. Let's just drop it. Neither of our characters who can use it need it. They both have better items, so... And I know I could be selling these, but man, we have plenty of money. I haven't, I haven't withdrawn since like the fourth sanctuary location. I feel like we got plenty of money right now. Okay, Franklin badge. What does the sea pendant do again? Equipped on your body. Fire, freeze, and flash. Okay, I guess we can make Ness a tank for this segment. There's no reason not to. He's pretty freaking awesome anyway, so. Piece like caramel. Oh, we're gonna want to just let's just use that because. <laughs> let's try eat it. Nah. Because we're going to buy some better items to restore more than just 20 at a time. Okay. So we need to buy maybe two more multi-bottle rockets. What is this crystal charm? Let's take a look at that as well in our equips. Okay. That's body, yes. Okay. Well, it's less than the rain pendant. I think the crystal charm is another item we can just drop. So let's see. Does Paula have one too? They both have a crystal charm. Whoops. Yeah, give it to... Whatever, it doesn't even matter. I don't know why I just gave it, I want to just drop them. Get rid of them. Crystal charm, drop. Let me double check that this doesn't have any like special properties or anything. Protects you from paralysis. No oh, hand speed, okay. Nah, not good enough. Alright, now two more multi bottle rockets, and then I will meet you guys... Well, you know, I guess we could have stayed in summers. We needed to purchase something else there. Shoot, I guess I... I wasn't thinking of that originally, but now we can go to... let's see, what else do we need? I don't know where you can buy bags of Dragonite, if you even can. Let's see. The combat yo-yo. You know it. And you've got the Trev. Alright, so I'm gonna buy one of these and I'll meet you somewhere else. Oh! Well, would you look at that? It's the Piggy Nose. I guess we could have found those magic truffles in deep darkness with this item. Buy it from this guy in Scaraba. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Why am I here? Okay. I'm here in Scaraba because I heard that there was an item. I don't know who <laughs> carry a variety of things. Huh. I guess we can buy some bottles of water for Neo, but we've already got plenty of those. So. Snake bag. Uh. What? No thanks. I'm good. I don't need a bag of snakes. Seasonings. Nah. No, we do need to buy some seasonings. Okay. Cute little packets and jars. Now remember ketchup, I think, is what we actually want. So who's holding the rock candy? Okay, well... Yeah, I guess I'll just do it with Paula's. Then. Okay. So I'm gonna buy a bunch of ketchup packets and give them to Paula. Okay, so now we want to look in Paula's inventory and make sure that the rock candy is the last item in her inventory. You see, you can rearrange their items by giving items to themselves. And all it does is it moves whatever item you had selected to the end. Okay, so... 
basically, yeah, now we have Rock Candy as the last item, and a bunch of ketchup, ketchup packets right before it. And if I remember correctly, we can use that Rock Candy in battle, and it won't be consumed. You'll just consume the ketchup packet. But we'll have to see. I suppose we'll have to try it. Alright, who's closest to leveling up? 13-something, 100-something, 98. 27, looks like it's going to be Neo. we got to find some enemies to fight, though. Use these guys out in the desert. Well, there's criminal caterpillars, aren't there? Okay, well, we'll get an automatic win on them, don't we? Come here, you. <laughs> I ran into one almost immediately. That's good luck. Come here, you bugger. Heh <laughs> heh. Let's see if we can get Neo to just barely not level up. Yeah, there we go. Now he's only going to need about 7,000, so we can just fight some of these random enemies. Just find something. Hey, Crested Buka. So, let's see. Is this going to be enough? 7,000 for him? Alright, I guess we'll just have to try it. Alright. Uh, Paula's got the goods, so we gotta use it from her inventory. So have... Use the rock candy on Neo. And we're just gonna kill him other than that. Hopefully we won't die before we get to use the rock candy. <laughs> okay, um, hmm. Well, he wouldn't level up anyway. Okay, well, the next battle he will, so I'm just gonna have to make him, everybody except for him and Paula defend. Alright, I need somebody to kill. But now there's no enemies, wouldn't you know it? <laughs> as soon as I actually want to fight something. It's not like they're here and they're running away, they just aren't appearing. Like, come on, guys. When I was going after that caterpillar, y'all were all, all over the place. Are oh, you kidding me? Now <laughs> I can't get a single enemy to spawn. Can I kill the Hintman for 6,000 experience? I mean, oh, are you serious? This is crazy. <laughs> this is just going on and on. Alright, get over here, little UFO dude. Yes, you. Alright, hopefully this will give us enough. Ness, defend, Paula. Use the... Well, no, 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 don't use a ketchup packet. Oof. Use it on Neo. And defend. And bash, I suppose. Bam! Paula took out the ketchup packet, used it on the rock candy, and Neo ate it. His guts went up. Okay. Now we need to beat this uh, enemy, so let's just bash him out. Like I say, they're not really much a threat to us right now, so we'll just <coughs> take turns bashing, finish him off. If he dodges that last one, ugh, annoying. Okay, so now Neo should get a level up, hopefully. Yes! Look, still 63, offense went up, defense went up, HP went up. Is that it? Did I do it wrong? Yeah, you see, we didn't use up the rock candy. Okay, well the glitch worked. I used up the catch packet instead of the rock candy, and I got Neo's guts to go up. And when we leveled up, I thought if you leveled up after that, you're supposed to get like a really epic level up. Okay, he just got kind of a mediocre one. Alright, I'm not really sure what's going on with that glitch, but I did show that if you have it as your last item in your inventory, and you have a bunch of condiments immediately before it, you can use it in battle, only in battle, and it won't be used up. You'll just use up the condiments. Okay, we can teleport from right here. So let's... We'll turn to Summers to pick up some of those magic cakes that lady was selling. Oh, we can hit that tree right there. I hope not. Let's just do it over here. Yeah, that'll work. It's so weird when you hit the teddy bear because Ness is almost touching the teddy bear. So it's like your characters are making a circle. Alright, so we should appear right next to her, right? Of course, I got rid of the town map. I don't can't look and check to see where she is. But she the other way. No, here she is. Okay, good. Hello. I can no longer make magic cakes. I'm magic, magic tarts. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. You can buy a magic tart? Yeah, you know it. Um. I don't get like. I gotta, I gotta get rid of all the ketchup packets now. You reminded me how much I love this job. Alright, let's check what the magic tart actually does. So I don't look like an idiot and buy a bunch of useless items. Oh, only 20? You're kidding me. Can I not? Huh. I'm perplexed. Where, what, what is it that restores more than 20, then? I thought there was something. Um... <laughs> okay, uh, I'm confused now. Oh, well. You guys like ketchup packets, don't you? Let's eat it. Om nom nom. Well, that sounds delicious, doesn't it? Here, Trev, you have one, too. Well, isn't this an interesting image? Paula force-feeding all the boys in the party ketchup packets. <laughs> this is just so strange. <laughs> Neo loves ketchup. <laughs> okay. Um. I don't even know, man. Uh, 
Now you're selling magic. Crap! Alright, wonderful. I guess Paula will take it. I really hope we don't need those. And looking at Ness's psychic points, uh, he's gonna be pretty much rocking it and have an enormous amount of psychic points all the time, so. Alright, um. Back to Saturn Valley, I suppose. There are more more things we need to buy there as well. Don't hit a car, don't hit a car. Okay, good. <laughs> Made it. Alright, so we headed over here to the Saturn uh, shop, which I suppose is back up the hill again, of course. I don't know how long it takes for them to finish the actual device there, the phase disorder. I don't know if you have to just leave Saturn Valley and come back, or if you can just talk to him again immediately and he's already done. I'm not sure. I don't think there's any scripted plot elements that you have to do. Hi, how you can buy and you can sell too? Yes, also want to buy things, thank you. Um, no, this is the wrong person. You don't have what I want. Nope, not the table. Although the table was shaped like a Mr. Saturn. Wow, I just noticed that. That's cool. <laughs> awesome. Wait a minute, you don't have him either. Is it this other guy? How many shopkeepers do y'all have? Hi, 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 you can buy him? Okay, good. So this must be the new guy who sells the new items. There you go. Pendants and piggy jelly. Now this is neat stuff. This actually is a healing item. Restores about 300 HP. So rather than using up psychic points for healing, we're going to be able to use these items. And I'm going to give them all the Ness because... Well, maybe I should give some to another character. We'll give a couple to Neo. He's not going to be able to eat them, but... You know. I think, yeah, I think Neo will still get just the six from these. So... They're not that good for him, but he can heal himself with his magic, so... Alright, now I don't know what any of those pendants do. Can I look at what they do without having to buy one? Whoops, no, I didn't want to... <laughs> it's like I don't even know what I'm doing sometimes. Okay, buy... Flame pendant? Uh... Yeah, no chance. <laughs> what? What? What does that say? Cashula! You have no cash, okay. Okay, I guess I need to have enough money to even... Whatever, I have lots of dough. I'm just gonna buy one of each, and then look at what they do. How wonderful, right? Yeah, 20,000. Yeah, as you can see, we have a whole lot of money in the bank there. You can buy and you can sell too. Yes. Okay, good. Buy this. Flame pendant. For Ness. Okay, C pendant. No, 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 I'm not gonna sell this stuff back. No, I'm just, I wanna buy things. Thank you. Rain pendant. I think we already have a night pendant on somebody, don't we? So we had a flame pendant there. I see a sea pendant. We had a night pendant. Uh, and a rain pendant already. So we got sea, night, flame, and rain. Okay. Sea, night, flame, and rain. Okay, he doesn't have anything new for us other than the flame one. Okay, good. Alright, so let's look at what they do. Sea pendant is the best one, I think. Protects you from fire, freeze, and flash. Okay. You have to be having it equipped. Flame pendant. Protects you from fire. Okay, just fire, I suppose. Alright, what about the night pendant? Absorbs the light of a flash attack. Okay, that absorbs flash attacks, then. So you got fire and flash. And rain protects you from freeze. Okay. Alright, that's cool. Um, so I guess, since Ness has the Franklin badge... He doesn't need... Well, he's got the sea pendant, right? So if he's a knight, wear the sea pendant. He'll have fire, freeze, and flash. Okay, it's not going to protect him from electricity, but still. I'm going to give the Franklin badge back to Paula. And then I'm going to equip... Let's see. Ness has the wrong one on now. He needs the sea pendant. There we go. Actually, tanking Ness might not be a bad idea. That actually might be a good way to go through this. Let's give that Franklin badge back to Ness. I know I'm being a little bit indecisive here, but I've never done this before, so... I'm kind of just figuring it out for myself, too. Of course, Neo can't wear, uh... any of this stuff. You know, protecting... Yeah, I think we're gonna more, be more likely to come across enemies that use freeze than enemies that use fire. So I'm gonna switch out this rain pendant for the flame pendant on, uh, Trev. Hopefully that will be a bit more make a bit more sense. And they have the same amount of damage protection, too, so... Okay. Nope, not don't talk to the ATM. Dude, okay, what? I can sell this stuff back, right? <laughs> I, Mr. Saturn, can do all for you. No, wait, I don't want to buy. Oh, boy. Yes. Uh, sell. You want to sell things at me? Yes, I do. Um... Green pendant. Oh, come on, you know how much I just paid for that when I bought it from you? Jeez. No, alright, we're good. 
Um, I think that's it. I think we're ready. I think we're good to go now. Alright, so, in the next episode, we're gonna fire up the phase disorder 2.0, and head back. Actually, I'm gonna have to deposit some money. We're gonna head back. I don't know where we're going. We're not going back to anywhere. We're going somewhere new. Can I just use the ATM, please? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Jeez. Alright. We're approaching the point of no return, so if there are any other things that you guys want to do out in the world, uh, now's the time. So, you have to do it before you go through this next segment. So if there's anything else that you want to go back and look at, grinding you want to do, rock candy glitch, anything like that, characters you haven't talked to, get, dude, Ugh. the items you need to buy, whatever else it is, you got to get it done before you go and talk to these guys again, because that's going to trigger the next bit of the game. So, uh, alright, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Earthbound. Sorry this episode was a little bit slow, but, like I say, it's our final preparations. Cause it's the final countdown! Doo -doo -doo -doo. No, I already used that song in an LP, I can't do that again. Ugh.